I tell my clients that there's three things that every business has to have to be successful. And I provide them this list and I provide them in a very specific order. And most important on that list is access to capital. Because as a wise man once told me, if your client has a successful business, they'll need more money. And I think everybody would agree with that because they need that money to scale. And he says, if your client has an unsuccessful business, they will likely need more money. And that's probably likely too. And the reason for that, obviously, is the fact that you're going to have to feed the beast, the cash flow thing. So access to capital is clearly number one that you will, you will need to, to be successful. Number two on that list is what we call business acumen. Now, most of the people who I speak to are what I would call technicians, or at least that's how Michael Garber uh, in the E-Myth would have defined them. They come with technical skills, but few of them have ever run a business before. And quite, running a business is actually quite different than, you know, doing the technical trades. And as a result of that, they need to understand business acumen. They need to understand the difference between marketing and sales. They need to understand the difference between finance and accounting. These are different things. Uh, we need to understand how people's how, how to influence people, how to negotiate, a variety of different types of business skills that go in there. So, uh, so business acumen is the second most important thing that every business needs to be successful. And the third uh, thing on that list is energy. And one of the things that we have to realize is that running a business is not a nine to five job. Many of us will actually work 50, 60 hours a week perhaps to do uh, to keep our business afloat. Uh, and even beyond that, when I'm not in on working in the business or on the business, more specifically, I think about what I could be doing differently. I might see an article. I might want to go ahead and include a, a, a change. And I might think about them. I sleep with a notepad next to my bed, for example, just so that I can jot down these uh, ideas uh, that I have in the middle of the night. So again, uh, it's not a nine to five job and you will definitely need the energy to be able to go ahead and, and survive this because, like I said, it's not a nine-to-five job.